Yo, what's up everybody? It's Trevor and welcome back to another Destiny video. Today, I have some sad news for us Xbox players. Um, I'm primarily an Xbox player for Destiny, so this one kind of hurts a little bit, but to be honest, I don't really care. I just want to rant for a little bit because I feel mistreated. But we found out today that it is confirmed that the Taken King PlayStation exclusive weapons, that means the Jade Rabbit, the Zen Meteorite, also, we're talking about the Strike, the Crucible map, the Quest, the Sparrow, and the armor sets that are exclusive to PlayStation will not be coming to Xbox One when Rise of Iron comes out. No, indeed, it'll be coming out next year. Yes, we have to wait two years in total to get exclusive PlayStation content from the Taken King. Now this is also going to include any Rise of Iron ex PlayStation exclusive content that comes out. We'll also get next year as well. But we have to wait two years until we can play with the Jade Rabbit on the Xbox. Personally, at that point, I'm just like, you can keep your own stuff. I don't need your Jade Rabbit. You can keep it, because by that point, the Jade Rabbit will most likely be an old piece of gear that nobody cares about. So thanks for giving us old stuff. You know, it's kind of sad. But unfortunately, I don't think it's Bungie. I, I really don't think it's Bungie. I think Sony is the big the big problem in this, in this scenario. Because it is a deal with Activision, which Activision has a deal with Sony, it's Sony's call whether they want to change it or not. Unfortunately. So I think Bungie is just kind of forced to be like, okay, this is this is what's happening now. How do we deal with it? And that's where they fucked up. Sorry for the language, but that's where they screwed up. And they didn't just come out and publicly just say, hey, this is what's happening. Because this is kind of what I think could possibly have happened. Um, the Taken King, see technically Destiny 2 is supposed to come out right now when Rise of Iron is. But Destiny 2 got delayed, so they came out with Rise of Iron to satisf satisfy us for now until Destiny 2 comes out. So, technically, the contract could state that PlayStation exclusive content was good, was PlayStation exclusive from Taken King to Destiny 2. Because of Destiny 2's delay, the contract then could have been extended, leaving the Jade Rabbit a PlayStation exclusive for two years. Uh, that's very well what could have happened. Now, it is a contract for an exclusive item that was supposed to be a year. Sony could void that contract and let Bungie give us Xbox players the content this year. I'm just saying that's probably an option. But Sony being Sony just doesn't care. You know, so <laughs> I mean, I really think that we could get all the PlayStation exclusive content this year. It's just the rewrite of the contract. But instead, they're just gonna be like, "No, contract says this. You guys delayed the game. Now your community's gotta suffer." Which is a bummer, man. I really was, you know, Bungie. I don't think could have made Destiny uh, without the help of Activision. <coughs> And mostly the funding of it. I don't think Destiny would have been a thing. So then they got stuck in with Sony. And that being that. Because of that. I mean it's kind of a bummer to see that the console that built Bungie. And made them who they are today. Is being shafted right now. Not in a big way though. It's a small little way. But I don't think Bungie ever intended for it to happen. So it's more of a shame on you Sony. Uh, I don't think Bungie has any control over this. Because Bun because I think Sony has their hands out. And Bungie is the little grape in their hand. And Sony can crush Bungie anytime they want. They can just be like, crush. I'm going to make wine out of you. I mean, I really think that's that could be the thing. I really think that that's it. It's sad to see that Bungie wanted to be an independent company. Unfortunately, could not make it as an independent company and had to partner up. Um, I know back in the day they didn't want to be partnered with Microsoft because they restricted what they could do. And here they are again. Instead of Microsoft, they're with Sony. Well, Activision. But Activision has a thing with Sony. So 
unfortunately, that's how the cookie crumbles, and us as a community are going to get the shaft. So, that is my rant. Um, don't be too upset about it, guys. I mean, don't be. We can't do anything about it. They're not going to do anything about it. So, just be aware that if you're looking for that Jade Rabbit when Rise of Iron comes out, you won't find it on the Xbox. You can spend the next year looking for it and then complain because you got bad karma and you can't get it at the drop. But you just won't find it because it won't be there. So, anyways, guys, just be happy about it. You know, I mean, it's it's nothing really. I mean, it's just a few things. Now, I just have to say this. When they actually come out, when all this content releases next year for us, it'll probably be the size of a small DLC. I'm just saying, we're going to get two, two Crucible maps. Probably two strikes. We're going to get probably a handful of armor and most likely three or four weapons. Plus a couple quests, a ship, and a sparrow. I mean, you're looking at it, a complete DLC giving, I mean, almost a complete DLC bundle. They could have bundled that together and sold it as a DLC. We will get that next year. That part there kind of bugs me. There's that much content that Sony will have exclusive. I hate exclusive stuff. But anyways, what can you do except play the game and keep it going and love it forever? That's what I'm doing. I'm not going to talk negative anymore. So I want to let you guys know so you guys are aware of what's going down. Till next time, guys, my name is Trevor, and have a fantastic day. See ya.